guys, Lethal Flux here, and today I'm bringing you an updated deck profile of my Denko Dolls. Um, it's been doing really well at locals lately, still a very powerful deck for the next set. And uh, like I said, it's updated, so it is post Secrets of Eternity, so it does have um, a couple of the new cards in there. I think actually only <laughs> one, but <laughs> we'll get into that today. We're going to be going over the main, the extra, and the side, of course. So let's get into it start off with the main deck. I only played two of each Shadal. I feel like that's a good number for me. If you guys um, want to play any more, then go ahead and go for whatever suits your fancy. But for me, I play two of each. So we go two Shadal Beast, your draw power. Two Shadal Falco. Two Dragon. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If there was any card that I'd play three of, especially this format, it would be Shadal Dragon. Two Squamata. And I don't like playing two of this guy, but I play two Hedgehog because there's so many fusions that you can get back in the deck now that you kind of have to play two. Um, three is too much, but two is a perfect number. So there's seven fusions now all together that you can get back, or get from the deck, rather. Still play the Mathematician Engine, still a very powerful card in the Shadals, especially with Sheki Naga being Earth, and you get to draw on when he's destroyed by battle, so not a bad deal. Um, what has kept this deck in tune with the meta is Denko Seca, in my personal opinion. So we play three Denko Seca. Um, really good against Burning Abyss <clears throat> because they have a lot of shenanigan trap cards that you really don't want to deal with. So sometimes summoning Denko Seca is a uh, very good out. Just be careful that, you know, when you summon it, you realize you cannot set <laughs> spells or traps yourself. <clears throat> uh, still playing a little Chaos variant. Uh, two white, one black. Um, it's really nice to loop them. Um, you know, summon, and if you have a Falco that's flipped, and you just kind of have a dead Falco there, you can summon this one. Synchro, grab the black one, and if you really want to, you can summon with that one. These guys, I find, open up a really, uh, a lot of really good OTK opportunities. Also, the black one's good for banishing the Eclipse Wyvern that I do now play because of Dark Armed. So, one Eclipse Wyvern, Dark Armed for the Eclipse Wyvern, and of course we still play the BLS because BLS is a god. He is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how he stuck around in the game this long, but he's still here, so I'll still play him. On to the spells. Of course, we got three Shadow Fusion. Really, really good card. Punishing punishes players for going into the uh, extra deck, which is kind of unfair. Um, but, you know, it's here. I'll take it. Three El Shadow Fusion. This also presents a lot of OTKs. And the new one that came out in Secrets of Eternity is Nef Shut All Fusion. I really like this card. On paper, it seems like a bad card. But um, when I was playing the Sneak Peek tournament, um, what was that, on Saturday, a couple days ago, um, I found that this card actually helped me a lot. It, it made my dead hands kind of good to where, you know, if you had Shut All Fusion and two Shut All Monsters, you couldn't really do anything except for summon Winda. But now you can summon a Shadow Monster, equip this, change the attribute, and go for a Construct first turn instead of having to go for that uh, El Shadow window. So this makes it to where you can summon any of your Shadows. And if you really want to, you can play Grista or Win Windigo, even though that one kind of sucks. <laughs> so I really like this card. Um, and it, it's just, it's solid. It's not good, it's not bad. For me, it's just, it's just solid. On to the next spells, we play double MST and double enemy controller. I don't play three enemy controller just because I don't like three. Um, it's it's solid against some matchups. And others, you kind of want to side it out. Um, but I like it a lot against Cliff Orts, so that's why I've kept it in this long. Um, one Allure, one Foolish, one Snatch Steel. You have to play Snatch Steel this format, unfortunately. I don't know what Konami was thinking when they brought this card back, but you have to play one and the one Regeki. I like clearing the board. <laughs> also, in the mirror match, um, if you regeki a, your opponent's field and they have a window, the window doesn't go away, but that's okay because you can just snatch steal it. <laughs> so it's kind of dirty, but it is what it is. And I only play four traps. You probably already know what they are. This is three Sinister Shadow games and one Shadow Core. This card's really solid. Um, presents a lot of nutty plays, even the OTK, which I might do a separate video of showing you guys the OTK with Shadow Core. Um, you can send it with Construct to get back a fusion, or you can send it with Skamata to get back a fusion, and it's just really, really, it's really good. I like Shadow Core a lot. 
that's it for the 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 main deck. The main deck is 41 cards because I could not find a card to cut, unfortunately, for Nefshadol Fusion. So I just tossed it in there, and uh, it's 41. Seems to be working out fine though. So let's go over the extra deck. We got three Shadol constructs or El Shadol constructs. Everybody knows what that guy does. Not going to go over it. Two El Shadol Shekinaga. I really like this one. Um, um. It's, it's really easy to make. 3,000 defense is, is no joke, and um, really good against the Tellers for even when they call the Haunted or they use the uh, Oasis of the Dragon Souls, because you can negate whatever they uh, use to special, or they special summon with Call the Haunted or Oasis. Two Winda, really good against Burning Abyss, and um, really good against uh, Satellers, because when Satellers activate Call the Haunted and you have El Shadal Fusion, you can just chain El Shadal Fusion, summon this, and that's their only special summon they get for the turn. Really good. Same thing with Burning Abyss, because Burning Abyss do have to reveal to special summon their monsters from the hand. So you could just chain El Shadal Fusion. For the XC monsters, one Exiton, uh, one Castell, really good against Cliff Force, also really good against Cliff Force in the mirror match, and Burning Abyss. <laughs> Two pretty solid XC monsters. On to the Synchros, one Armadis. I cut the Goyle for HGS, I mean, this card is much more relevant to this format. Um, I don't want anything going to the grave, especially in Burning Abyss or Shadals. But this is really good. One Arcanite, one Black Rose, one Leo. I've never gone into this, but it's there. And one Star Raider. I have gone into this a couple times um, with Shadow Core and Shadow Falco. Really good. That's it for the extra deck. Let's skim through the side deck real quick. Side deck is very important in this format. Double Max C. Double Flying C for Burning Abyss, because if you special summon it to their side of the field while they have Burning Abyss monsters, the Burning Abyss monsters get destroyed. Really, really good. Uh, on to the spells. One mind control. I'm now side decking mind control. Uh, the third MST, of course. Double spell shattering. <clears throat> For the traps, triple fairy wind. Um, I like this card a lot because it gets rid of skill drain. Skill drain doesn't really hurt because I can just send dragon with it, but it gets rid of um, a lot of cards like skill drain and cliff forts. And even if you uh, go call the haunted, you can get rid of call the haunted and the oasis in uh, Satellers. <coughs> Bless me. Sneezing over here. Two old drama trio. Really, really good against Burning Abyss. Uh, when you destroy uh, the tokens on their side of the field, they take 300 damage, which is really small, but you really play it because it destroys their monsters. So when they special summon two and they're overextending, you just go old drama trio and destroy their stuff. And for the old drama trio, here are my, my tokens. I just got to show these off. I like them. Um, these are HTS Simuth tokens. I actually made them. They're really cool. I like them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just had to show those off a little bit. And for the last side deck card, Double Light Imprisoning Mirror. And, um, yeah. That's that's about it. So, um, sorry for not uploading in a while, guys. Um, I will have a Burning Abyss deck profile before this one. So, um, thank you so much for sticking around with me. I know I have 960 subscribers as of right now at this very moment. And uh, I couldn't thank you guys enough for um, sticking with me, for those of you that have stuck with me. And um, I really appreciate it. Like I said, for uh, 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a pretty good giveaway. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, please stick around for more, guys. I have so much more in store for you guys. I just... Um, getting getting it done is just, is just kind of hard right now. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, guys. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take it easy.